and I'm going to talk to you about number 18, which was built by Stephen Lewin of Poole in 1877, and it worked for 93 years at CM Harbour, hauling coal wagons as the type we operate on the colliery railway here, um, on the quayside there. The reason it was kept was because it was small and it could get underneath the stays. So the engine's been with us since 1975. It operated at CM until 1969 when it was withdrawn, um, as it has, amongst other issues, uh, problems with its boiler. And the last driver was a chap called Hal Wheatman. Um, he drove it to the, the shed and at that point it was condemned. In 1975 it uh, appeared at Beamish. Uh, it was restored in 1977 to its original guise, which was as a well tank, which is where water's carried in tanks between the frames rather than the saddle tank that was later fitted on top of it. Built like that, it was later rebuilt uh, as the saddle tank in 1936 and that's the appearance that we've restored the locomotive to. So about um, 10 years ago, the locomotive was finally restored to working order in the condition that you see it today. And the aim was always to have a regular operation of a steam engine in the colliery, working with the children wagons, giving visitors a sense of what the past was like. Not riding on a train, but the train was just part of the landscape. Um, and obviously the North East colliery um, were, were part of that landscape for so many people. So it was restored. Um, pretty much everything you see above the buffer beam, which is the red part there, is brand new. It's all replica. Um, parts of the boiler are original. Um, we managed to retain those, but everything else uh, had to be replicated from photographs and known evidence. Quite why an engine built in Poole in Dorset ended up in sea is, is not, not clear but it's possible uh, that it was part of the coal trade and the shipping routes and so on that it found its way to the North East and it was originally supplied to the Londonderry Railway for use of the docks. Londonderry Railway sold the docks and became part of the Seam Harbour Dock Company but the locomotive just stayed in the same place, it didn't move. So we rebuilt the bottom end, replicated the top end and it's been a regular performer at Beamish ever since and I think Built in 1877, so it's 143 years old, I think that's quite a testament that it's uh, still regularly working.